So I just wanted to show you my workbench that I have in my gun room, man cave, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty pretty nice besides the two front legs of Cricut, but I haven't messed with wood since 8th grade. It's not too bad, mostly lazy, so I, that was my workbench prior to the wooden one I just showed you. It's pretty weak, rubber made. I had to upgrade, man. So I did. Bought some wood, put it together, watched the video on YouTube, got it done. Pretty much all self-explanatory, really. Watching the video just reinsured some things I had. It's not too bad. It's 39 high, 36 across, and 24 wide. It's perfect. I'm 6'2". Goes straight up to my waist. Love it. Made the shelves. I measured everything that I wanted to put on my shelves prior to making it. And made, I kind of built from the ground up. Pretty much what you're supposed to do anyways. So made sure the two cases would fit there. All the totes I wanted to put under there fit. All the totes up there. My range bag fit there. So it's all good, man. Got a little cork board on the back. I put that up prior to this. So I had a little bit of window to even put it but I could have took this down if needed and made it higher but then I put this up there too this was put it left in the garage from um, the previous tenants that lived here so me and my son it's not quite straight my son sat there and pushed this side up and I held this side with one hand and pretty much just screwed it in there but it's it's pretty nice just kind of keep miscellaneous stuff in there. Got all my cleaning stuff up there. I'm more clean stuff. Some ammo. Some mags. Constitution. And all that good stuff. Got my lights. Got these from Walmart. If you turn these off, pretty much can't see shit. So, these are 10 bucks a pop. And I just cut them. Right here, wired them the same so I'd have one wire coming down. Oh yeah, this is uh, just a leftover board. I put down here and I use my X-Acto knife to cut stuff. Um, just tape, whatever. I keep scissors in here. My wife takes them, so I learned she doesn't take an X-Acto knife. So uh, that's what I use to cut everything with. And the board's just funny. I just didn't want a board sitting there, so I put a face on it. It's pretty funny shit. My girls get a kick out of it. And this top is this leftover tile from a um, bathroom project we did. It's pretty simple stuff. It's like $30 for I don't know how many squares, but we did a bathroom and this. So it's a small bathroom, by the way. You just take it, pull it off, stick it on there. Because so I was going to get really nice wood that was already finished, um, a little pricey. Then I was going to sand it down myself and refinish it. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds like too much work. And then went in the garage and these are sitting on a shelf. I'm like, oh, man, let me go try these. They're 12 across, so just kind of fit perfect. I didn't plan that. And it just, because it was 24, obviously, 12 is half of that. So there it is. There's my workbench that I work on. Cork board. Cabinet I keep my stuff in. Walking Dead and my shotgun right next to it in case the zombies want to creep up on my back because my door is to my back which is stupid but I guess if I'm working on this bench it'll be all good. And there's the door. Alright don't forget that subscribe, like, add to favorites, um, check out previous videos that I've ever posted and uh, more videos to come. Check them out. Mostly gun stuff. Alright. Peace out.